Hello, this is a bit of info about the Almanza A400. I don't want to talk too much before I play, but uh, I will mention that that is an Almanza 403 cutaway with electronics behind me, which was my first classical guitar. This one might not stay here, but I want to just play some tones for you so you get a feel for how it is because there's not a lot of there's not a lot of videos made about this lately and I'm, I'm recording this in 2024 so test out I play this type of stuff a lot but if you heard me in a music store this is kind of how I test out guitars I just play some chords I play some things around the neck um, one of my nails is not uh, it's like jagged so it's uh, I'm, I'm things aren't rolling off really well today but <laughs> So there's some tuning, uh, I, I'll explain why the tuning is needs a little touching up here. A second. So now for the talking. So if you don't like talking, you can just hang up now and get going. And so this is, uh, I think cedar is the top and mahogany is the sides. It's unlaminated. I'm wearing Architerix shorts, which are like a, uh, so that's creating scratchy sounds. Uh, these shorts, I shouldn't be wearing them for a video. Any other uh, laminated guitar or glossy finish would maybe be a bit less noisy on your clothes in general this is on it's a matte finish on the entire guitar and i'm looking for a, a matte ish guitar as a secondary guitar and also one that has no cutaway so a full proper body and no electronics there are slight issues with 
with cutaway and electronics I found. So like, for example, the tone could be d- dismantled a bit from that cutaway, but you get up on the neck. So there's one, that's one issue. The other is electronics. It adds another layer of complexity. It makes, makes you know, there's a control panel on, on a lot of them. I don't really like that. I, I don't play amplified a lot. So that's kind of why I wanted a second guitar. This one is a second classical that is. <laughs> you don't know what's in the other room. So, um, but classical is my favorite style of instrument, not, uh, not necessarily classical music. I like Spanish romantic, uh, bossa. And so, and I just love practicing on classical guitar. I love the feeling on the fingers. So that's what led me to this guitar. I actually kept passing over all the Almanzas because I have one. And so I was looking at a lot of different brands. Um, I could probably go through a bunch of things that I tried with you. Um, You might be interested. So I'll just quickly tell you that the Yamaha 142 and 162s are really great instruments in this price range. They're very solid, but they don't, and they play really well in this lower area. sound really gold I tried uh, I was actually using a 142 for a bit uh, the Sapel one um, 142 though did not hold up higher up on the neck it was just hard to play because it's a wider neck right it's the traditional classical neck the Yamaha and as I got up there it was was challenging I had also tried a Godin A2. I really liked it, but there was an intonation problem on it. And so I just, I just, uh, sometimes when I see certain issues, I know if I'm within a window where I can exchange it, I will do that. And that's a shout out to Long McQuaid. And I never would ever want to take advantage of it. But sometimes it happens that it takes time to find the right instrument. And I typically actually buy a lot of them used for that reason because if there's a problem I don't really feel bad about it coming back into the store it was already put into the used section the problem though is that with used instruments I don't really know the history exactly like someone's taken it home they they and in the case of that Godin they took it home in the winter and I don't know what kind of home it was in so who knows if there's issues so that's why i I try to avoid i don't i don't avoid used instruments but as of the this round i'm more hesitant so this was actually a new almanza there was another one in the store that i was in that was the same model but it had a a much lower saddle i'm sorry higher saddle it was used it had a higher saddle this one's new, has a lower saddle, and so someone in the store told me that it's not indicative of anything particularly because when they make the guitar, they, they try to get the saddle to match you know, what the neck profile is. So there is some room to go on this saddle, and the, that's, um, that was just one thing about this, this guitar in general, this model or this uh, exact serial number. So the overall, I would say this guitar is really great value. I'm really impressed by it. As the, exactly what I just said before about having this second guitar, but for a lot of people, this is a great first guitar. So if you're electric or steel string acoustic player and you want to dabble in having a nice soft guitar, there's a guy, Eric something, he, he calls the classical guitar the best couch guitar. This would fit the bill. It's just su- such a nice thing to have, like an unglossy thing. Also, this guitar has a snappy sound. So that's what led me to go. I was actually not even looking at this price range. I was looking at some of the Alhambras, which are from the same factory, possibly the same company. And this one, out of a bunch that I tried, had the snap. And I'm not sure if it's picking up here on this microphone, but. It 
it's got an uh, almost an electric feeling to it. That's one thing I love about classical guitars in general is that you just get so close to the sound, I guess, because of the softness of the strings. I don't know if this is that's complete BS, but I just feel it more. Whereas with a, a steel string acoustic, I don't like the heavy metal, so I don't really connect well. But if you get a nice soft. They're almost therapeutic, I would say, similar to a harp in the way the harp sounds. So just some issues with it. The, the D string is has something called back buzz, and that's why I'm gonna go um, take it to the store and I'm, it might, I might exchange it for the same model or I might uh, move to a different one. But the back buzz sounds like this. In my, these headphones, I actually don't hear it as well as I was hearing it before, but it's like a flanging sound, and it's common on the D string. Oh, there you go. That's not fret buzz. Uh, so how do I know it's back buzz? Is because I changed the string that it came with. So I put another <clears throat> fresh string on there. I also at one point swapped out the saddle with one that I've, I have that I've made, and that didn't fix it. So I read that some theories are that the saddle um, can cause that, string can cause that, and then now with those two ruled out, it could be, uh, I don't know, I don't want to speculate. Um, it's not a huge issue for this price point, it could go away over time. Also, like at our store, Long McQuaid, I say our because I feel like I'm part of the store as a customer. There is a, a service that a free setup included. So that setup would, the people would work on that issue as included. So I'm going to take it down, see what people say. If, if I hear a response that's similar to like not really easy to fix, then that would be like I, I don't. I would say that you just need another one, and that's that doesn't sound very uh, optimistic, but that's what happens with all guitars. But I think more in the classical world, there can be all kinds of issues that creep up, and one of them is sometimes intonation with a lot of the other ones. I found that this model actually intonated really well and that's the reason why I picked it but then I didn't I didn't go up and down every fret which I now know to do um, there's a reason for that I can't get into but if I heard it more clearly there I would have been uh, more on guard so I would say my advice is don't buy guitars that you can't play in general I know some people might be watching this because they can't really go test it out and they're, and they're willing to take a chance. In that case, uh, uh, brands like Musicians Friends in the States, I think they do a QA on the guitar before they send it out. So I think my advice would be pretty good as a recommendation that if you're looking for kind of a starter guitar, a second guitar, I have a friend who wants to play guitar for his little kids and he thought of something like a classical because it's much calmer sounding, quieter. This guitar totally fits the bill. I, I definitely like it more than the Yamahas that I had tried out. It's not as high quality as the Godin Etude because it's half the price of the Godin Etude. That one had a more professional sound to it, a bit a, the a kind of the body of a solid body guitar, the Godin Etude, but that's a, and that was cherry wood. So, but I like, I'm much com more comfortable on this Spanish style neck in the, the or the Almanza and the Alhambra neck. And the, there is no trust rod, trust rod. So you, you do have to be careful. You have to take good care of these guitars. Uh, the frets here are a little sharp for my liking that can be filed down and the only other thing about lower end fretboards is they kind of sound like sandpaper if you're 
if you have the metal string on them, they scratch. Uh, that's no one's fault. I mean, you can't expect the smoothness of a higher end fretboard uh, with these like this, um, you know, this price point. That's just out of that's out of line. So. I can actually quickly put on the the Almanza 403 just so you hear a different uh, sound. And I'll do that quickly. similar to the 400 uh, but this one I guess has better fretboard and just a, a bunch of other, th other things it's also really broken and I've played it for a few years and so this one is is my primary and let's see what happens with the what will become the B guitar the secondary so hope this was helpful and thank you for watching this video